Many of you guys have probably heard of Warner Bros. Movie World in Australia because of their star attraction DC Rivals Hypercoaster. However, that is not the park's only attraction, as they have five other roller coasters. But the topic of today's video is their one and only inverted roller coaster, Arkham Asylum Shock Therapy of Acoma SLC. Unfortunately, the future doesn't look very bright for this coaster as it might be getting removed in the upcoming years, and I'll explain why in just a little bit. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe. I post new videos just like this every single week. But now let's get into it. Recently, rumors have been circulating about the removal of this coaster that has operated at the park since 1995, and there are a few reasons why people think that. The first and main reason that this coaster might be leaving is that it hasn't operated in a very, very long time. Back in December 2019, this coaster shut down for unreported reasons. At the time that it closed, most people just thought that it was some annual maintenance. Since this is a year-round park, this has to happen so the coaster doesn't tear itself apart. Then the park closed due to the Rona, but when it reopened on July 15th of 2020, this coaster didn't open up with it, and it stayed closed, and it never opened. And at the time of recording, there has still been no word about the coaster, and it has remained closed. Another reason is that people People who have visited Movie World have been noticing that some of the theming in the queue line has been removed, as they have been able to see the queue line since this coaster is in a fairly central location, and now a lot of the theming that used to be there is now gone. This is a pretty troubling sign, as they might want to remove the small things first before de demolishing the coaster entirely. And just remember, none of this has been confirmed, this is just all rumors and speculation. But now that we've gone over why it might be removed, I want to get into what might replace it. With the coaster industry suddenly getting very competitive in Australia, with Steel Taipan at Dreamworld, Big Dipper at Luna Park Sydney, and Leviathan at SeaWorld, Movie World might be looking for a new ride or roller coaster to keep guests coming through the gates, and removing Arkham Asylum might give them a nice plot of land for that new addition. When Movie World eventually does remove Arkham Asylum, that will leave them without an inverted coaster, so they could use a B&M Invert or a Vacoma Suspended Thrill Coaster, as both would be amazing fits at the park and would be very unique to Australia as a whole. Another thought I had initially was a modern wooden roller coaster, something by GCI or the Gravity Group, but then I remembered that C world was getting Leviathan, and they are less than 30 minutes down the road, so that would make this addition very unnecessary. Even though it would be very unique to the park, it just doesn't make sense at all. Another coaster coming to Australia in 2021 is Big Dipper, an Intamin single rail coaster coming to Luna Park, Sydney, but I still think that it would be a great investment to add an RMC Raptor in this plot of land. Here's why. Luna Park Sydney is nearly 10 hours down the road, so the target audience of their coaster, Big Dipper, is completely different from the target audience of the coaster that would be coming to Warner Bros. Movie World. It's pretty comparable to Cedar Point getting Gatekeeper a few years after Six Flags Great America got X-Flight since they are two fairly close parks and they got two very similar coasters. Speaking of the wing coaster, there are actually a few years unique models of roller coaster that I could see replacing Arkham Asylum. The aforementioned B&M Wing Coaster, a B&M Mini Dive Coaster, an SNS 40 Freespin, or even a Gerslauer Launch Coaster, as all of these would be great fits at the park and all are super, super unique. Now I'm not gonna go in depth with all of those as this video would be ridiculously long, but I'm just saying that those are a few good options for this coaster's replacement. Or maybe I'm just ridiculously wrong and they replaced this coaster with some sort of flat ride, dark ride, or some walkthrough attraction. But no matter what they add, that's gonna wrap up this video. Let me know what you think will replace Arkham Asylum Shock Therapy at Warner Bros. Movie World in Australia. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. But be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time on Hang Time Thrills.